I am Black Bright and I am just doing a quick video, I hope, before I go to work. Um, basically, um, for those of you who have just come across my channel, um, you can subscribe, like and share. I won't go into too much paraphernalia because it's all in the description. So I needed to share a video with you. Um, it's about a Jamaican, comp uh, a Jamaican family living in China. I'm not going to talk too much in this one. Hi guys, we are the Shirley's from Jamaica and we are sending you this message from our home in Wuhan, China. That's ground zero to COVID, right guys? Yes. Yes, and I'm Aline. I'm Bevan. I'm Chase. And I'm Cruz. And we want you to know that in spite of the worldwide pandemic of the coronavirus, there is light at the end of the tunnel and there is hope. Wuhan has been on lockdown for almost two months now. That's just about 52 days. 52 yeah. days. Yes, and for the first month or so, we were able to move around freely, even though most businesses were closed. Uh, there was no form of public transportation. But now we so. have to stay at home all day, every day. And in spite of that, we are healthy, we're giving God thanks, and life has been good. So we want to share some of the strategies that have helped us to go through this time, and our, the strategies that are still helping us. And we hope that they will help you. Remember now that not everything will apply strictly to your situation. Okay, some of the things that we have done, we have limited our travel outside our home. And when we go out, we wear a surgical mask. Um, we beefed up our immune system with a brew that I've had from Jamaica, which is um, ginger, honey, garlic, apple cider vinegar, and sour oranges. And just there are trees, there trees here in our, our apartment complex in China with sour orange and making the best use of the Yeah. 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 And in addition to that, we practice good hygiene, we wash our hands frequently, mm -hmm. so when, whenever we come from outside, we wash our hands and we remind each other not to touch our face, which is hard sometimes. Mm -hmm. And we, we have been playing a lot of games inside, board games, dominoes, stuff like that, mm -hmm. and you know, you know, keep in touch with family and friends and laugh a lot. Yes, yes. Of course. And we want you to remember that COVID-19 is not a death sentence. So Kuz can take us through some facts, right? Give us some facts, Kuz. Okay, sure. So um, remember that China's population is about 1.4 billion people, That's which is people. yeah, which is nearly 500 times bigger than Jamaica. Um, as of today, March 15, um, of the 81,048 confirmed cases in China, about 67,023 or 83% have fully recovered so far. And every day, over 1,000 cases are fully recovered. So we can definitely say that this epidemic, pandemic, you know, will soon be in the rearview mirror for China. Um, a lot of the chaos in China occurred in the early stages because because there was not much knowledge about the virus. So the hospitals were overwhelmed. Uh, but now there's a lot more information. And the rate of recovery is skyrocketing. So, yeah, soon there will be no more cases in China. Yeah, and Jamaica and other countries can now benefit from the knowledge that has been developed over these few difficult months. So, I think that your experience should be a lot less dramatic than it was in the early days for us and for China. Definitely. Yeah. So I think, what do you think, Chase? Well, this war will be won. And it can be won if everyone plays their part. And we can limit the spread by taking personal responsibility for our safety and obeying the instructions that the government and the authorities give us. Yeah, that's a good point. This is everybody's fight. It is a real crisis, but how should we react to it? Yeah, yeah. How should we react? That's a very good question, Chase. One, I don't think this is a time for people to be trying to make money off of each other. Very 
with you, mm. right? And it should definitely not be a time to be spreading fake news or news that do not come from official sources. It should not be a time to cast blame or practice any form of prejudice because this is a respecter of no man. And it's definitely, definitely not a time to panic. Instead, instead, what well, should we do? Personal reflection, this is a good time for personal reflection. This is a good time to get closer to your family, bond with your family. Spend time with them, you know, play games. Um, yeah, this for people who are in school, who would, especially those who would have their PEP exams or CSEC or CAPE, um, this is a good time to, you know, spend time to revise your notes. Don't panic about not being able to finish the exams properly. Um, they'll be making the correct adjustments for that. So yeah, just do this as a break where you can catch up on anything you've missed in the past or anything you don't understand. Yeah, I agree. Um, we have some positives that have come out of this negative situation. Yes, believe it or not. Um, I think for one, we have grown closer as a family. Sure. Yeah. Um, what else, guys? Uh, well, we have grown closer to God. Like individually and yes. as a group, yes, yeah. nothing like trouble to draw you closer to God, right? Um, we have experienced the kindness of neighbors and strangers who have offered to help us, even with the translation and getting food to buy. You know, um, it has been phenomenal, and we have gotten a lot of love from people all over. Right, yes, including the Jamaican embassy here in China, they are really good doing support for us. Yeah, at the Jamaica Association in China, I guess they've been very supportive. And so, with all that love and support, we want to give it back. We want to say to you, wherever you are, in Jamaica or anywhere in the world, we want to say, Yes, COVID 19 is here, but don't fear. Fear God, He's got this. This too shall pass. Pass on the love, but not the germs. So cooperate with the authorities. We are doing, doing it, and so, so can, can you. you. <laughs> oh, I thought that was so beautiful. I had to share it. Um, yeah, so I didn't realise how often I touch my face. You know, it's only when they were saying that I realised. I even put the bloody pen in my mouth. Oh, goodness, I've picked up so many bad habits. You don't even realise until, you know, you become aware and hopefully those habits will change. Awareness helps uh, um, habits to change. So um, I've got some figures from the University of Hamburg to help kind of stabilise us and put things into perspective. Number of deaths in the world in the first two months of 2020. So, of course, we're not including March because the figures have gone up. So just the first two months, um, 2,360 died of the coronavirus, 69,602 of flu or cold-like symptoms. And like I said, I'm not sure if it's because that live bird flu was mixed in with the flu vaccine. I don't know. Um, 140,584 um, died of malaria. 153,696 from suicide, 193,479 of road accidents. Remember, this is globally in the world. 240,950 HIV deaths. You don't hear much about HIV deaths anymore. At one point, it was in the headlines all the time. It is still happening. 358,471 alcohol-related deaths. Cirrhosis of the liver, goodness knows what else. Lay off the alcohol. Um, 716,498 due to smoking, of course, lung-related symptoms, and goodness knows what with that. And 1,177,141 have died of cancer. 
So when you put it into perspective, peeps, 2,360, the first two months of the coronavirus, I know it's now 600, 6,526, but if you still put it in perspective, all those other figures have probably risen comparatively as well. Um, so is the purpose of the media campaign to settle trade war between China and America, but the strategy went horribly wrong? Is it to reduce financial markets to prepare the stage of financial markets for mergers and acquisitions, including blockchain? Is it to sell off US Treasury bonds to cover fiscal deficit in them? Is it created by pharma companies to sell their products, masks, sanitizers and medicine? Somebody sent me that little note today. You tell me. And that's all I've got to say. Better get off to work now. Bye-bye.